Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Old World Blues, in which we are once again playing as the Enclave, but in the lair of the bear. We are on the very borders of the NCR, a rogue nation occupying American soil. We cannot deny that they would destroy us if they became fully aware of our existence, luckily though for us. The bear is blind, weakened by bureaucracy, infighting, and an ineffe ineffectual leader. With the right efforts made, we can hide under the very nose of the NCR until we are strong enough to reveal our plans. But we cannot keep them in the shadows forever. It will become harder and harder to conceal ourselves as time goes on. Our time will come soon, but as you can tell from the title, we're not going to go with reuniting California. <clears throat> we like a particular state that we would like to reunify, but our escape. Years ago, we managed to escape from the destruction of the main enclave forces at Navarro. The man which we survived can still be felt today. And immediately completed. Ah, oh, very good. How do we do this? Now, honestly, you know, every time I play as the enclave, I never ever remember exactly what I did in the past. So, to the disappointment, I'm sure, of many. And I should really remember what I've done. I don't remember what I did, so I'm going to make some mistakes here. Except when we come to communism here, I think. But our choice. Sergeant Dorn is well respected by both the reformer and purist factions within the good old Enclave. The Enclave needs a president, however, and the Sarge expressed disinterest in being called a serve for the rest of his career. He works for a living, gosh darn it. We fought our way out with power armor? Escape using vetebeds. I love gunships. God, I love gunships. Deserted before the fighting got bad. You know what? <clears throat> Manpower, I would say, is probably the most important one to get here. I want that one. Fighting your way out of power armor. I almost never choose this one, but I think I want to go with vertebrates. Actually, hold on. Before we do that, I want to see. Do we have any vertebrates right now? It does not look like we have any. We might get some later on. I don't honestly remember. Um, actually, having more divisions would be nice. Uh, but we're going to make more divisions anyways later on. Oh, I don't remember which one I took. I'm going to go with gunships, because I'm going to see if, for Nevada, I'm going to try an attempt to at least pair drop on a lot of the enemies that we fight. That's my kind of one of my goals for this campaign, but a president. We have made a choice, and that choice will change the future of our enclave, and if we're successful, America. But who really is the man we elected? And I do apologize about what's going to come up here, because like I said earlier, I don't remember what I chose beforehand, so. It is what it is, and we currently get how much political power? Uh, not enough. Our president, Sergeant Dornan, is well respected by both the reformist and purist factions within the enclave. Nonetheless, neither see him as a viable president and have presented their own candidates. The purists have selected Franklin Anderson as a candidate, while the reformers are led by Douglas Granite. It appears that the purist faction has the advantage, but the support of the Sarge can still tip the scales in favor of the president or the reformers of Granite. Um, I will go down this route next time. Um, I'll be, I, as promised from here, from me to you. Uh, next time we will go down with the purist route. I know a lot of people don't, actually don't like it. It seems like it's a, it seems fairly limited, but I've done it before and I know how it works, so I I want to do it again, at least one more time. But we'll see what happens, or just for fun, you know. I'm playing this just for fun, because why not? Cool. Thank you, Mr. President. Hey, Douglas, welcome back and reform. If we're to rebuild our once great nation, we must reform ourselves and our principles. Sadly, many of the reformist elements have already deserted in the last few years, leaving mostly the devoted and fanatical. We'll have to tread carefully in our efforts to reform the Enclave into an organization fit to restore order, justice, and democracy to these United States of America. Um, honestly, I said this before at the end of the last campaign. I don't know why we can't get these guys back later on. So, it makes more sense to just shy them away. But because we're going to reform Nevada, I'm just going to go ahead and let them come to only do good for this time. And when it goes purist, I'm going to genocide everything. Straight genocide. But sins of the father. Granite's past is a controversial subject in a midst made all the more contentious by rumors spread by purists. The cause is Granite's big old daddy, and is the relationship to the Chosen One. The purists accuse Granite's father of treason for aiding the Chosen One destroying the oil rig but lack any evidence, despite the fact that he will deny these allegations as nothing but political slander. Douglas remembers clearly what his father told him about that fateful day on the oil rig. He aided the Chosen One and went their separate ways. Speaking of the Chosen One, let me tell you who, who your mother was. He didn't aid the Chosen One. I honestly can't remember. I'm pretty sure when I went and did Reformist US of A, he aided the Chosen One. Let me tell you who your mother was. I want to do that one. Actually, Mutant Sympathies. Eh, he didn't aid. I kind of want to do that one, but that's what we'll choose up for the purist. Oh, actually, no. Wait, hold on. Yeah, that's a president. Yeah. Douglas's Youth. After traveling around with his son for a brief few years, Granite Sr. established contact with one of the Enclave's civilian vaults, set up as a contingency to repopulate the American mainland after the Enclave government cleansed it, since President Dick Richard had lifted child-rearing restrictions, the vault's population had exploded naturally. Nonetheless, it was safer for a child, safer place for the child in the wasteland. Thus, Douglas spent most of his youth in the safety of the vault. Like most children in the Enclave's vaults, Granite was raised with a fervent hatred of communism, sadly 200 years of Enclave propaganda, and living in a vault run under the command economy meant that he and most other members of the Enclave were left with a vague understanding of what communism was. As such, Granite knew all enemies of America must be communist, which I always choose, apparently. But this time we're going to go with Spend His History Class playing on his Pip-Boy. 
His first contact. When he was 17, the population of the Enclave Vault reached the utter limits of its life support systems. As a result, a large portion of the healthy and strong were ordered to leave the safety of the Vault to establish contact with the largest group of Enclave remnants led by an old Navarro drill sergeant. Douglas, however, was quick to contact with his father's granite company, instead slipping away from the rest unseen. His father welcomed him back, giving him a position with the company where he quickly rose through the ranks when Douglas was a lieutenant of the granite defense company. He received an emergency distress signal. The message sounded desperate and came from... Ooh, I don't remember. I think the last time I did the Brotherhood Knights. Because we're going to go with, uh... Uh, Nevada. I want to do the NCR Battalion Fighting Raiders, I think. Let's do that one. When Douglas arrived with his team, the situation of the defenders had grown more dire. Their battered defense was crumbling quickly under a deterred but almost equally bloodied Raider gang. Looking over the sad state of both parties, Douglas decided to wipe them out lest they reveal Anklet's arrival. Which I do like less resistance to but help take down the Raiders. Ooh! Oh! Mm. I mean, this is the NCR, so I'll... I think it just makes more sense if we actually have help take down the Raiders. I think I went charismatic last time, but then again, the other time I did go play as Ruthless, and I liked Ruthless. So, give us a connection with the faction. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, presidential victory speech, my friends. With the electoral victory snatched from the jaws of defeat, it is time to speak to our supporters and opponents alike about the vision of the Enclave's future. Oh, hot activities from the NCR, whatever. Bribe them, we'll do that eventually. These guys, I don't care, they're going to come anyways, no one cares. Uh, workshop policies, executive orders, yeah, that's good to do, but extend shifts. We get some PP, but absolutely not worth it, so. Um, I want to change divisions, but we can't really do that, so. God, I, I am, if you know me, I'm a huge sucker for power armor. The more power armor, the happier I get, so. If you can do that, that'd be great. Hopefully, Lannis doesn't die in this campaign, but legitimacy tutorial, I'll keep that in mind. The Enclave will tell them what to think. We can use that political power now, actually. Actually, that would be bad. Goodbye, State Transfer Tool Mod. Oh, I didn't tell you what mods we're using. Oral Blues, Oral Blues Radio, Player of the Peace Conference, the State Transfer Tool Mod, as you just saw. Oral Blues, more Leader Portraits, and of course, Oral Blues, Enclave Reborn. Um, it's not really hurting us now, actually. So, technically, this would be better to do, so get some more political power, because I want PP. Because it doesn't hurt us. Minus 5% when you zero doesn't really do too much. So, Presidential Victory Speech. Because then we're going to switch out some of these things here. Actually... Uh, we got to purge the opposition as fast as possible, right? So, because I do want to get, well, Department of Defense, but home is Nevada. We need to purge the opposition ASAP. ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. So, we got to flip some things around here. D ooh, disappearances, technocracy, oligarchy goes down. Uh, technocracy goes down, but that's not really worth it doing, just because you want to switch out some of these guys. But first, reach out to centrists. Question about the NCR. Look to compromise, promise compromises to the centrists. Provoke the purists. I think the last time we did this one, I'm going to provoke the purists. Many of the most devoted purists are on edge. Feeling control of the Enclave's destiny slipping between their fingers. They are eager to abandon the words in favor of actions. Too eager, in fact. This could be exploited. I don't know, this might be a problem, but whatever. We'll try it anyways. Yes, the Rangers and Vipers, pretty normal stuff here. So, we have these guys, Navarro veterans. I'm probably going to switch it to an... Ooh, an ultra more rating. Enclave Academy, we can't do one yet. A combat language. Very, very nice. Uh, let's grab that stuff. Grab this stuff as well. Specialized doctrines are nice. Actually, we wouldn't go without immediately. And... Uh, let's get, uh, more weapons. that's infantry though, actually, what is infantry, does that include power armor? Probably not. No, it isn't. No. It does not. That's alright. Thank you. Hmm, plus point two daily elite support is super strong. We want the intellectuals for reform and stuff, so. Political indoctrination, traders in the Officer Corps. The recent elections have stirred up latest or latent tensions in our Officer Corps. Many of our most experienced and respected military leadership are Navarro veterans, and there's not a man among them who has not lost a comrade there. It is unsurprising that many of them have been taken in by Anderson's message of revenge against the NCR and mutants alike. With our government moving in another direction, tensions are high and there are whispers of traitors. Stolen secrets last night, a small group of traitors made off with a vertebrate and almost all of our old military codes. The communication suggests that they were opportunists who saw a better future in selling the codes when, than wherever the Enclave is headed. Regardless of their intentions, this betrayal is a severe blow. Many old military bases, including the heavily fortified lower levels of the Sierra Army Depot, are now forever lost to us. Good riddance, we need them. Blame the Pyrrhus? Oh yeah, I mean, technically. That would be bad. Um, oh, it's stonks. If you wonder about this one, please go ahead. But Bull, maybe bear? Give us a few days first. I want to actually go and do this one first. Uh, go, put a indoctrination, because this will help us out with this stuff here, too. The Pierce outnumber us for now. Uh, crackdown. With this stability, manpower, oligarch can get more of that. I don't want to lose anybody. Hmm. I don't want to lose anybody. We're going to keep doing that. Retire as a unit leader. That's not bad. I don't want to lose any more stability, but stability is really easy to get. I like Lieutenant Mary Orwich, but she's going to commit many genocides when we play as a Pierce, so... Um, that costs 50 PP, so, you know what, it's just better to do good riddance, we don't need them, because we need the PP now, but then again, ooh, ooh, blame the purists, 
Oh, my finger slipped. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. My finger slipped. Do we get it? Do we get a second crackdown? Reach out to centrists. Centrists? I don't know, man. I don't know. You know what? Can we do? Uh, let's experiment. I'll do it twice. Provoke the Pierce. Screw it. Provoke him. Consolidate power. While we are gaining the upper hand, the Pierce are alive and well. It's time to gather all those who still disagree with their vision in one room, so we may address them in the qualms. Making still be swayed to our side, of course. And do that first. Uh, demote Pierce officers. That's all right. That's fine with us. Modified treasonous officers. That'd be good to do eventually. Treat among our scientists. Many of our best and brightest were once part of the secret projects perfected or performed in Navarro and the Rick. For this, they are persecuted relentlessly after the fall of Navarro. None of them have forgotten this. Few have forgiven it. Since the recent elections, progress in some projects on has slowed down. The laboratory equipment has gone missing and reports of unpatriotic behavior have become common. I don't want to click on that. No, thank you. No, 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 no. But the city of crime, Reno, a wretched hive of scum and villainy, offers both a secure base of operations and the margins of, of the NCR. And the chance to show the role of the benefits of Enclave rule. Oh, absolutely. Do we not have an air base? Oh, please help me with an air. Oh, we don't have an air base. Oh, that's so sad. I want to use power. Oh, oh, oh. So interesting. So I wanted to see that and test that. We don't get the thing for another crackdown, which sucks. But hey, you know what? I'm glad I did it. This I know now to not do that again. Um, it's good to know. Good to know. Do we have any money? Nope. It's fine with me. Whatever. 46%. How, how much is it going up every single day? Oh. It's actually going down a little bit. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, then. Uh, going with cold turkey, the Mordinos are parasites, selling drugs and other devices to the rift after the wastes. Absolutely. We're going to need more PP, though. Uh, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. Oh, no, so we do get the crackdown thing. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. All right. And bing, bong, bong, bing. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Crackdown them again. Lose some more manpower. Lose some stability. Get some less oligarchy. Shout Jack Churchill. It's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. Dwemer, Lieutenant Scott Blair, I don't know, it's all right. Colonel David, you look cool. I'm only going to hire you because you look cool. And you're going to go power armor. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I just, I love power armor so much. I mean, just, X-01 suits, just, hmm. We need more stability now, which sucks, but then again, that just costs more political power down here. So, uh, reduce administrative shifts. We need 100 PP, which is fine. We got stuff to do here anyway, so. The city of La Crime. I'll tell you guys, just go on ahead and... Boom, let's go. Is this hurting us yet? No, it is not. Uh, that's not a great place for you to be. Oh, well. Oh, consolidate power. While we're getting gaining the upper hand, the purists are still alive and well. It is time to gather all those who still disagree with our vision in one room so we may address them in the qualms. Many can still be swayed to our side, of course. <clears throat> you guys immediately go down there. I want you both race down this side. You're going to go here and go to Nixon and go to Lovelock. Love me harder. Love me harder. All right. All I care about is that you make it over here. That's all I care about. Nice. Construction basics are good. 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 Actually, since you're here, go here to here to here to here. Here to here to here. That's all I want you to do. Nice. There you go. Are they doing force defense? They might be, huh? And there they go. Straight to Nerino. The fall of Nerino, of course. And they're gone. Thank you, Nurino, for playing. Oh, very nice. At this point, just go ahead and do no occupation, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. I'd love to do Wasteland Pacification, but that's going to kill off our PP, which we don't want to do, obviously. Power armor. Then, some of this stuff. Gunships. Oh, baby, yes, please. I want to use, I want to use a lot of transports in this campaign, actually. We don't need that. Where's our... Is it? Yeah, we got, look at all the stuff we got. Not bad. And we lose manpower anyways. Oh, yes. It's fine. Oh, uh, we don't know. Map out for that, maybe. That's okay. Um, For now, just go ahead and on over here. There you go. Thank you. Come again. I don't want to train either. Yep. Consolidate power. And we're going to go going cold turkey next. We need to purify a lot of things here. And we need to get more stability, too, so. Ah, uh, consolidating power. The tensions have been high since the elections. The peer support for the purists has only intensified as a result, especially in the upper echelons of our government. Oh, the federal budget. Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. Oh, crap. Look at all this stuff. Look at everything here. To address the situation, we have collected all those with grievances towards the new U.S. government into one room, awaiting answers from the president. Someone hand me my speech. My fellow Americans. Um, I think I've done... Uh, I mean, honestly, there's no point to not do this one. That just makes more sense. Now we have the PP for us. Because we love PP here. More stability. Well, stability time, everybody. 
Um, oh, but this stuff too. The deal with the Van Graffs. Um, oh, I think we definitely need to take that one though. Uh, we get 0.7 every single day. If we do the one, no, like it's 100. Can we get 30 more, 29 30 more political power? I think we can. We should be able to, right? Do we lose political power here? No. No. All right. But threat affects the troll worm. The uncle has liberation in Reno has chased much of the city's rift after the ends of the earth. Among those who fled is Thrad the Immortal, one of the master's greatest warriors. He's defected to the troll worm, which is rapidly risen in the first ranks ranks. Or first ranks. <clears throat> These reinforcements will give the Troll Warren a powerful tool against the Washington Brotherhood, who is already overextending, oppressing its neighbors. Well, that seems like a Brotherhood problem. Fist fight breaks out. A heated argument turned violent in the General Staff cafeteria today. Unsurprisingly, the topic of the argument was the recent elections. Though many claim that it was provoked, none deny that the person that supported the reformer through the cause through the first put. Or former cause through the first punch. My apologies. This normally insignificant issue is gathering a lot of attention, and we've been asking to intervene. An ungrateful position to be in, since defending the aggressor would have flucked badly on us, but condemning it would come across as a stab in the back of the most zealous reformers. Pierce had it coming. There's no excuse for striking a fellow officer. Both share the blame. Um, can we afford that? We are what percent? We are 61 percent. Jesus Christ, that's not bad. Both share the blame. Yeah, I'll do that one. The federal budget. With the Congress a new reading of the Enclave must now deal with something it had to put off for two centuries. The federal budget. When the Enclave ruled a series of vaults in oil rig and redacted, or Strangeheim, the Enclave relied on a command economy, but now that it rules a substantial population of wastelanders, it needs to tax them and spend money. For them, or for it to seem like our wasteland soldiers want a salary, and our soldiers and veterans also want more than just jaunty propaganda tunes. Nothing certain life but death and taxes. Nice. Even though that looks... Okay, that's not bad, but not great. Patrolling the arena for the first time in the Enclave's history. We have reclaimed an American city, however. New Reno's population does not see it this way. While some are hopeful that the gangsters are being pushed out, others fear and distrust the power armored strangers patrolling their streets. Minor acts of resistance, such as throwing rocks or insults, are not uncommon as unsavory types test the limits of our troops' patience. If we appear weak, small arms may fire may soon follow. Show not to mess with the Enclave, which it did last time. Um, we do get some more war support. Establishing strict rules of engagement. Return fire only in an unpopular move, but. Do we want to be the power armored monsters responding with plasma fire to kids throwing rocks? Yes. Yes, I do. Very much so. Um, I don't want to lose that worst part. We, we, I just can't afford to do that, so. There's no penalties for that one. Encounter the Crimson Caravan. One of our patrols stumbled upon an expedition of the Crimson Caravan. The squad leader, less trigger happy than some, has reported back requesting orders on how to proceed. The caravan is not close enough to confirm that they are still faced with power armor, or enclave power armor specifically. But rumors of suspicious patrols in Nevada desert could reach the on NCR nonetheless. Leave them be. No witnesses. No witnesses. Oh, so now that's hurting us quite, bad, quite badly. Okay. Hmm. Alright, whatever. 0.54? Well, that sucks my owl. Um, I definitely want to deal with this one as fast as possible. Because we definitely need to do this, but... Ah, oh, screw it, we're doing this one first. Gives us the stability. I'm going stabby first. Stabby, stabby, stabby. <clears throat> going cold turkey, followed up with checkmate. The bishops plotted to bring the NCR, or new... To bring new Reno into the NCR. That was a mistake. Oh, my apologies. There go the old bones dealing with Mordinos. The Mordinos long represented the status quo of New Reno. That is to say, criminality, exploitation, comes in misery. They have many allies, but no friends, and few are now willing to lay their lives down in defense of the Cam Lords. And we strike quickly and expect only limited resistance, but some have suggested that we should use the Mordinos to demonstrate we are serious about our old world values. They will be tried in court of law. Justice is long overdue. The Mordinos are hunted down and executed by Enclave troops to clear display of power to all of New Reno. The Enclave government sets up a tribunal and brings Mordinos to a trial. Hardly a full-blown justice system, but it's a start. Well, I want the political power. I really do want that and need that, but I wonder if they'll be tried in court of law. Just because, even though we don't need the compliance, we do get, what, 5% more legitimacy? That helps us just a little bit, maybe? But we're trying to restore the American states here. Shared dream. The rights dream of a peaceful, prosperous city. Maybe they can collaborate with us towards a better tomorrow. Today. Absolutely. Major General Grimm speaks out in favor of Anderson. During a heated argument that the officers mess all today, Major General Grimm has spoken loudly out in favor of Franklin Anderson and his ideas about the Enclave's future. A few choice words were aimed at both mutants of the NCR and President Douglas Granite. While the other officer in question may be capable of leaving the field, we should note the opinions of the commanders we appoint to lead. What they say in the mess hall and over the radio always affect his loyal soldiers. Demote him? Tied to his opinions? Well, put his name down on the list just in case. Speak to him personally. 25% chance to lose his purist. Placate. 25% chance becomes a reformer. Oh, uh, let's see. We're at 59%. Oh, we gotta be at least at 50%, so demote him. He's entitled to his opinions. 
That's fine. And remnants wish to return. We've been con by, contacted by the leader of a sizable company of Enclave Remnants. They have survived the decades as raiders, greatly feared due to their advanced tactics and technology. Having heard rumors of the return of the Enclave, they are asking to be reinstated into our armed forces. While the extra man power could be very useful, their disdain for the mutants rival that of Anderson and his ilk. We must therefore consider the political consequences of accepting them into our ranks. The prodigal sons have returned. Uh, the remnants are sent away, no doubt working out their frustration on any settlement they come across. I gotta do that one again. We'll do this one we do with pure stuff, I think. If we get that one. Because we don't really need oligarchy. We really don't. We're trying to get rid of that, so. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Dealing with bishops. The bishops may have been the most powerful family in New Reno. Mr. Bishop himself is a dangerous man for many reasons. One of which are his numerous political connections in the NCR. The Crown Lord's gangsters were loyal enough to face down the other families, but the said as uh, X-01 power armor sent them scattered. He was retreated to his mansion, accompanied by only his closest and most loyal, surrounded by our forces and trapped. Focusing, or focus on capturing their assets. Focus on apprehending their leader. I think the last time we did this one, because I like the cities, but let's go this one. I might be wrong about that, but whatever. Uh, deal with Van Graaffs. It's fine. Just do that immediately, because we're going to get more stability, too, after this, too, because we're going to need some more. Um, oh, we need that one stuff, too. I'm going to close this one, too. Uh, don't even bother with this, with this for now. Follow it up with old allies. Oh, Salvatore, so remember our last time in Reno? It might be worth cutting a deal with them again. Absolutely. Absolutely. Purge the opposition. If only, man. If. If only. Five days left. Not bad. We can only get how much? 0.59 a day. Oh, that sucks. Ah, yeah, special warfare. Very good. Just follow the power armor. A shared dream. And the new capital, of course. We want to get to that. So that's possible music fault bound. During their efforts to clean up some of the smaller criminal organizations in New Reno, Enclave soldiers have stumbled upon on a treasure trove of pre-war audio tapes. The vast majority of these tapes have survived and hold long-lost tunes of the old world, collected by a wealthy crime lord over the course of decades. The propagandistic value of such a collection should not be underestimated, as very mu little music is available to those within the Enclave. Promote patriotic songs. Release the tapes freely. Promote old-world nostalgia. I'd like to do that one, but we already have enough technocracy at this point, because it's still going up, right? No, it's going down. God dang it. Uh, ew. Promote patriotic songs. That sounds... I mean, that technically sounds like more like a patri uh, pure thing, maybe. Release the tapes freely? I kind of want to do that one. Old World Nostalgia is not bad, but I want to do release the tapes freely. Let him, let, let him go. Let my people go. Well, maybe. Dealing with rights. Some say that the Wright family spent the last few decades build, building with one hand and destroying with the other, but... Compared to the other families, this makes them almost redeemable. Mr. Wright's vision of a more peaceful and stable New Reno is not entirely incompatible with our own. Let him go legit. There's no place to risk on here. Let's let him go legit. Do that too. Thank you. Military exercise will be very nice. Wallet disappearances. We're still doing okay. I'd like to do this one, but we don't need to do that one yet. And uh, we're going to need more stability too. So as soon as this is done, we're going to click it again. If we can. Dealing with the Salvatores. The Salvatores have been useful to the Enclave in the past, dealing with us in order to expand their own influence in New Reno. Perhaps they can be useful once again, as a puppet ruling New Reno in our name could help make the situation in the city less suspicious to any outside observers. Mr. Salvatore's old smuggling connections may also prove a viable resource to us, should we decide to keep him alive. He can rule as a puppet. Ooh, we lose legitimacy, though. He can live under house arrest. We rule New Reno now, which is what I like to do, but... He can rule as a puppet? I think I did one last time, maybe. I can't remember. Um, we only have 2% legitimacy, which sucks, but whatever. He can live under house arrest. That's fine. We've gone, we've broken the backs of the scum that run New Reno. Look how much happier everyone is with Enclave uh, soldiers patrolling the streets. No one complains, not even in private. Very nice. And we love their private. Something like that. Oh, is this going down again? Political infighting, treacherous officers. Because we can't do anything here yet. Right? Yeah, we can't do that. We need just a tiny bit more stability. Technocracy, manpower, anything here that could give us some little stabby. That's not bad, but I prefer to do the uh, weekly stability thing that we get down there. Scavenging program. Hmm. I'm not against using it, but it's really just probably best to wait. The new capital. We get stability here anyway, so it's fine. Treacherous, treacherous officers. Keep the peepee -pee for now. The peepee's -pee always good to have. Happy 2275, everyone. We're still in our same old year. That's fine with us. Fine, fine, fine. The new capital. Followed up with prepare expansion? No. The first brick. Actually, which one did it go? Military industrial complex? Civilian infrastructure. Enclave police? Out with the old. Amnesty for service. Amnesty with service. I think I chose out with the old last time. Amnesty for service. Ooh. Hold on. For this route. Actually, we can do. Let's do infantry with the NCR, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Home is Nevada. Purge the opposition. Unlocks the. Nevada focus tree. To support the old world party in New California. The state of Nevada. Um. We claim all of Nevada is our land. Cool. More than 25% legitimacy. So we do have to focus on legitimacy a little bit too here, so. 
Oh, that sucks. The first brick. With New Reno under government, under government better than drug running gangsters, we can develop the city. Or the police. I do like the police for this group here, though. New Reno didn't need police when it was run by war and cr crime families, but establishing the rule of law could go a long way towards giving the re reunited states legitimacy in the wasteland. Leon Clark can create a police force to be a model for America. Nice. 25, 29 days is pretty nice, too. The Wastelanders. With the city of New Reno now fully under our control, we are now almost governing over a significant amount of Wastelanders. Since we cannot install Enclave members to every single position of influence in the city, some Wastelanders have begun exercising an amount of power within our borders. I suppose this was inevitable. Not on my watch, they don't. Which should encourage us. More low-level administrative positions are opened up for Wastelanders. That's fine. We can do that. New Reno Slaves. During the liberation of New Reno, we've come across a large population of slaves, triggering off a debate as to whether we should allow the practice of slavery in these United States. <clears throat> Although there are those who say slavery is un-American, others point out that a captive workforce could be a boon to our economy and has a historical precedent. As a compromise, we could adopt a Vault City's servitude system, providing food protection and medical care in exchange for involuntary service or servitude. But others say that seems like slavery with extra steps. What's so wrong with slavery? Oh, what do we do here? We need... Oh, boy. That's not good. Wild promises. God dang it. That's oligarchy. I don't want to spend the pee-pee for this. Hmm. Orange disappearances. Accidents happen all the time. More so to those openly opposed to our decisions, but no one can prove that. Or we just go ahead and let's see. How much is this going down every single day? It's going down by quite a bit. So we need to get rid of the daily release support with something else. We can't do any of this stuff, which sucks. Okay. Um, non core manpower. Forest T, that one guy's always good to do. I always forget which one. Who do, who do we have here? Um. <laughs> I don't think anyone here really does too much here, no. I like the attack, though. Yeah, this guy's usually pretty good. More intellectual support. That would just push us over the... Oh, push us over. Genocidal officer? I love that. Jerome Chapman would be really good as well, but... Actually, is anyone up here? No. Respected by scientists, purists. But I think we'll have to go down here. Uh, I'll grab him. Gosh dang it. Slavery, Bruno, kind of... Now, last time, I played a full reformist USA. And the mutant question, of course. Segregation versus, I think we'll have to expand the definition of human. I think I'll do that one. But this time, I think I'm going to reject ghouls. I think I'm going to do that one. Because I almost never do this one. Dub bonus is doubled if both groups are rejected. Except they're super mutants. Huh. Well, let's see. A slavery, a boon to our economy. Slave labor. I don't want to lose legitimacy. That's probably the biggest thing, though. Indentured servitude. Um, slave exploitation level. If they wanted slavery, they would have elected Anderson. Oh, god dang it. I, 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 I at the time of this recording, I think Old Blue still has, is, the slave mechanic doesn't exactly work correctly, so, as much as I want to do that one, I think we need to go with this one. Because we still need legitimacy. Ah, uh, darn. <laughs> uh, let's do this one first. Actually, no. This one is actually not too bad. 25% consumer goods and replace it with 35%? That sucks. Enclave police first. That's better. So now, how much do we get? 0 0.03 every single day, which would be nice. We're going to keep working on this just a little bit little bit more. Hopefully get more stability along the way. Uh, additionally, we'll, we will do the first brick as well, but prepare expansion. That wouldn't be too bad to do. With the new Reno City secured, the rest of northern Nevada lies open to us. The technology of Alt City, the manpower of the tribals, and then there are the Yakuza. A threat. To our flank. Nice. Alright, so we're building up some cities here. Promotion. <clears throat> Recently, commanders positions opened up. There are two available candidates eligible for promotion. An older, experienced Navarro veteran and a younger, outspoken reformer. Oh, that's so nice. Someone did save the last time I did this. Oh, I get Thomas from Miriam. I should take this way, just so we can get the stuff done immediately for the Department of Defense. And because I remember, at least I remember that one, we'll promote the experienced man. I will actually remember one of the things that you guys said in the last time I played as the Enclave. I actually listen to you guys sometimes. <laughs> Which I definitely try to do, but it doesn't always happen. And sometimes I don't bring up comments, just because I forget to talk about them. Because I forget to write them down. My apologies. Yeah, it's a little bit ahead of time. Um, air, oh yeah, yeah that's fine. Whatever. Ah. Uh. Wait, it's only 43%? Why is it only 43%? 27% for these guys. Oh, it's because of the Wastelanders. Ah, oh, Wastelanders People Party. Elites. Oh, Elites is going up quite a bit. Okay. 
Hey, everyone, everybody, please go ahead. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. Oh, uh, my bad. That's my fault. I did the land doctrine, which I forgot takes away army XP. God dang it. My apologies. Enclave police. New Reno is safer than you expect for a city with no police force, but that's because order is maintained by a gentleman's agreement between the families. We could incorporate many of the mobsters into our new police force, or we could start from scratch with police trained by Sergeant Donan. I do want to do this as well, though, because you can get more political power this way. Why don't we just use these guys? Amnesty for service? You have to be a moron to allow New Reno's gangs. Oh, we lose even more stability, but we get 100 political power, which is actually kind of okay, just because we can do this again then. We get even more stability then. 44%. It's still going to keep going up, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. And let's go ahead and choose infiltrate the NCR. We can make contact with those in the NCR who want to restore pre-war America's glory. Now, suspicion well, goes down by 30, basically 30, because it's a little bit too high, but whatever. I don't really care. It's fine. In the end, we'll be, we'll be doing fine. And this way, by getting more weekly stability, we'll get more political power, too. So, <clears throat> It'll be a-okay. Uh, actually, we can go in. Ooh, that's oligarchy, but Really, it's better probably to do more technocracy first. Lower this one, and then raise this one up a little bit more. 3% goes down, because if you lower this support, this support goes up a little bit more. This goes up a little bit more as well. Ooh, once it hits 0 0.01 for daily change, then I'll lower the elites, and then we'll increase the technocracy. But, Enclave Radio. Our spies' radio be beacons could be used to broadcast the Enclave's message to the Californians. Let's sympathize as far and wide here the Enclave's vision. While we are at it, those same beacons can also be used as listening outposts. Nice. And research. My goodness, that sucks. I made a mistake there, man. Send out spies. We could do that. Rerock rooms and caravans. Uh, that's not bad either, but we do need this stuff as well. Unfortunate news, unfortunately. It appears some of our soldiers have taken up the practice of blasting a pre-war song on from their vertebrates during their routine patrols. It does not need explaining how this behavior is reckless and needlessly, uncons needlessly conspicuous. <clears throat> Nonetheless, the, our popularity must be considered in these uncertain times. Crack down on this behavior? We just ask them to turn it down. I did this one last time, and I go big or go home. Sometimes, not all the time. I like this one. I just... What's the, what's the point? We don't care, right? Right? Give us a pee-pee. So we're 47%. That's not bad, actually. You know what? Screw it. Just go all the way up. Do this one, yeah. Now we're going to go ahead and do this one. Uh, which one's worse to do? Research speed. Uh, let's lose our research speed first. While the top brass is still out of re reach, we could easily expand our influence by re replacing the more outspoken peers in the lower scientific ranks with their more loyal colleagues. And they'll do promote or demote peers officers. After we read about the next one. Follow up and call in favors? Now we're okay. Sage Raider attacks? Now we're okay. Uh, actually, gliders. Oh, well. Bird of Scientists will be good to do, too. One-time use? Well... Per the scientists, the time has come to rid of ourselves of the most stubborn, purest elements within our research divisions. We cannot let such an essential part of the Enclave be infested with traitors and saboteurs. The motions, banishments, or executions, one way or another, our scientists will be <clears throat> loyal. We lose a lot of stability, but we gotta get it done. Baseball. The president decided to revive a pre-war game to boost patriotism, and has gone on the radio with a new speech. <clears throat> We've been thinking quite a bit lately about something we can all relate to, something that is unquestionably and is inescapably American. I'm referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. Now ask yourself this, what if Nevada's gamblers could live again? What if they could compete with baseball teams from California or Oregon? Put your faith in the enclave of Great America and baseball will live again. Comfort, recreation, healthy competition, hot dogs, and pipe organs. All will live again. This country will live again. Play ball? Back to work. I want to do back to work about <sighs> legitimacy. I can't wait to play as a Pierce and just not care about legitimacy, man. Just... Just going to town on our enemies. Uh, that's what I want. Next time. But next time. How will the old as well? Controversially, we can decide that the police force should consist of people who didn't run a gangster state. Also, I'll probably do what else? Because I will try to get some more land auction soon. Old World Blues. Um, crack the code. Oh, Old World Blues. Enclave Radio can broadcast songs to trade on nostalgia for a better older American ignoring our short companies. Um, I think... I don't remember which... Oh, crap. I don't remember which way I went last time. Old World Blues or New World Hopes. I think I want to go New World Hopes this time, but I don't exactly remember. I'll come back to that later on. That's fine. We, we don't need an extreme amount of physical power right now. But, while the top brass is still out of reach, we can carefully expand our influence by replacing the more outspoken peers in a lower officer ranks with more loyal colleagues. Yeah. We need some political power. Will we get that within 26 days? Probably not, honestly. It's alright, though. 6% 6, 6 stability is pretty good. Nice. Old Real Blues. Ignoring our shortcomings. Yeah, that one's good to do. Oh, God, I can't believe I screwed the Home Department of Defense one. I remembered to do it, and then I still screwed it up. 
but perjury officers. The town has come to rid of ourselves of the most stubborn purest elements within our officer corps. We cannot let such an essential part of the enclave be infested with traitors and saboteurs. Demotions, banishments, or executions. One way or another, our officers will be loyal. Uh, during a heated argument with the officers mess all today, General Major Grimm has spoken loudly out in favor of Franklin Anderson and his ideas about the enclave's future. A few choice words were aimed at both the mutants of the NCR and President Douglas Granite. While the officer in question may be a capable leader in the field, we should note our, the opinions of the commanders we appoint to the lead. What they say in the mess hall and over the radio always affect our loyal soldiers. Is in touch with his opinions? Speak to him personally. Ooh. 10% too much. Ooh. We can't afford that. We can afford this one, though. Actually, does it... Hmm. Actually. Actually, actually, actually. We're already doing this stuff. To finish this one off, assassinate them. Less support for the purists. Has not completed the focus purity opposition. Hmm. Does it matter? Go big or go home. He's been converted. Lincoln will be proud. We got him. Ha. We got him, everyone. I knew we could do it. Go big or go home. 12 days left. That's fine with us. Whatever. And we're going to get f found out from the NCR. Oh, no. Mr. President, we're hearing disturbing reports from the NCR. Radio chat in reference to our facilities. We've also received one report of an NCR spy stumbling into one of our conference rooms, completely unaware of where exactly he was, needless to say. The NCR is sure to notice something is terribly wrong if we don't act now. Continuing to operate as normal may have dire consequences. The time has come. <laughs> Cease aggressive tactics, construction efforts. Uh, aggressive tactics is fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. What do we have? Aggressive tactics? Oh, we don't have it. Uh, if you want to buy that, please go right ahead. Doesn't really matter. There you go. Old world radios. Or radios, as some might say. Um, let's go back over there. Like, purge your officers. Purge them. Purge, 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 and assassinate Dr. Anderson eventually. Assassinating the big dude will crush opposition towards a tolerant, inclusive enclave. Saying those words sound very, very, very weird to me, but whatever. Especially for the enclave, but whatever. We got enough guns, though, which is nice. And we'll be getting rid of oh, some of our guys too soon. Actually, you know what? Send these guys out. I want to get rid of the Crimson Caravan. That'll be good. Purging the offices. Uh, the first brick. The first brick. Oh, concentration of fools. Don't screw this up, Mr. Mocha Lover. I almost said my first name there. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, no. You don't get to know my name. Not, not until I... Someday. Prepare expansion? Yeah, why not? I think I read this to us, though. So. But I don't know. But the arena secured the... The rest of northern Nevada lies open to us. The technology of big old Vault City. The manpower of the tribals. And then there are the Yakuza of uh, threat to our flank, of course. Uh, are you guys still winning here? Are you guys still doing okay, Lenius? You doing okay? And the NCR and the Divide. How normal. How absolutely normal. Oh, we can't do the mutiny question yet. Which is fine. The first break. With the arena under government better than drug running gangsters, we can develop the city. I know I read that, but that's okay. Because I don't want our, our cities. Alright, so with this stuff, how's it going with the, the stuff? Oh, so still here. That's fine. Lose research speed, lose a division, attack, and defense. Uh, we lost, well, technically, I guess, 60% attack right now, which is fine. Whatever. Don't really care too much. Oh, first brick. Followed up with, drive out the Yakuza. The Yakuza pretend to be heirs to Japanese traditions, which would be fine if they weren't on American soil. Which would be great. Um, New World Health Crack the Code. Well, that's only if we're going to go to war with them, which we're not, so. Call in favors, that wouldn't be too bad. Mojave Brotherhood Territories. Fun nations to play as. 15% is not bad, man. Bone Dancers and Kimmel Station. Very, very nice. And we need less than 15% for the Pierce faction. They're 15, so that has to be less than 15. Oh, military ex oh yeah, go and do that one. Oh, we'll get more technocracy. That's kind of nice, actually. And don't don't screw this up. Oh, okay, we did it. There we go. Nice. Uh, nice. Happy 2276, everyone. I forgot about that. Yeah, Happy New Year. Very good. It, wow, look at the 85%. Oh, baby boy. Assassinate Dr. Anderson. Of course, it'll crush the opposition towards the taller and inclusive enclave, which is very good. Until the next time, in which we go completely genocidal, and that'll be a lot of fun. Followed up with, purge the opposition. There are many in our midst who do not share a vision for the future. They must be dealt with. Boris, he retires, which is fine. Pierce advisors are gone. Remove political infighting. We need less than 10% support for the Pierce faction and complete Dr. Anderson's assassination focus. Great. Oh, we can actually increase uh, New Reno? Why not? My friend's home is Nevada. Now, I don't know if I should really go to war with these guys first. We only have five divisions still. So, 1,000 manpower. They have up to 11, which might be a bit extreme for us to take on right now. So, I think we'll want to wait. Actually, what is this? Is there something still here? No. Okay, Warden, Hangdogs. 
I think I played as Warden before. It became a uh, chapter. Brotherhood chapter. Uh, I'll go and do that one. That's fine for now. 12%. Uh, maybe we should have waited. Oh, there we go. We get that one too. Oh, gosh darn it. Well, we need more PP now. Um, 0. 0.84. The assassination of Dr. Franklin Anderson. The good doctor has been a thorn in our side ever since his loss in the election. His connections and wits have kept him alive until now, but we have politically outmaneuvered him at last. Despite quickly running out of allies, Anderson is safe put in the Sierra Army Depot. Stubbornly fulfilling his administrative duties, it is his office that our operatives found him unprepared for the confrontation. Perhaps he has resigned himself to fate. Perhaps he was too single-minded to see how his dire situation had become. All the same, Franklin Anderson was buried in an unmarked grave in Golgotha. If anyone noticed his disappearance, they were wise enough not to notice it out loud. We made sure that defined until the very end. But that is okay, because we can remove this, we get 0.2 more daily political power, 25% more organization and recovery rate, and 20% more stability, which would be muy bueno. Very muy bueno. And military industrial complex. Um, civilian infrastructure. We can focus on developing new Reno civilian economy, which will help further our long term growth. Military industrial MIC. Although our economists urge a focus on economic development in New Reno. An economy isn't much use if the city is sacked by the NCR because we didn't make enough guns. Um, I honestly don't remember which one I chose. So, A scavenger's returned to New Reno with lots with reports of an intact military base we thought lost with an energy weapon stockpile. Traditionally, scavengers have the right to the property they find, but we could use our, our new police force to seize his fines. On the other hand, if we respect his claim, it will cement our claim to stand for law and order and the rule of law. Stand for order and the rule of law. We could tax that, right? That's not worth it. That's just not worth it. 200 guns? That needs to be something better than that. Because we already have 1,400 guns. Seriously, man. Laws apply to the people and the government alike. Which we need to do because we get more legitimacy. It's nice. But still. Alright, let's get some more political power every single day if we can. Yeah. Thomas Halleck. Oh, actually, can we go down to... Oh, we need more PP, though. We need more PP. Then again, I'm not really focused on that stuff. We, we need more political power. Or army XP. Because I want to get that extra research slot for the Department of Defense. I remembered this time... For now, to actually get it. Ah! Ah! SpongeBob, me boy. Ah! So now we're gonna lose political fighting. Yeah, Boris T. That's not too bad. She looks pretty good for 500. America's 500 birthday is approaching, and someone says she's showing her age. The land is scoured by mutants and raiders, but in the enclave of America's last great hope, as a shadow of its former soap, but to grant it, this is just the cause of her double's efforts. Americans, he declares on the radio, has never been, never bowed to a despot, and never will. Things may look bleak now, but America will survive the next 500 years, and will be on that because the enclave will always fight for a better world, or Americans always fight for freedom. Yeah, that's the route you definitely want to go with this one. I like this hat, though. Uncle Vault Boy. So this one's pretty much done. Uh, I'm going to do this one next. Yeah. Reroute the Crimson Caravan stuff. That would be good. Oh, Peace Conference. And Walden. Oh, goodbye, Walden. You know what? Well, is still here. Kind of a surprise, to be honest. Kind of a surprise to see him still existing here. But you know what? Whatever. He's doing what he's doing. He's doing the best he can, just like all the rest of us. Purge the opposition. Purge, purge, purge. We need to unpurge him some more. Bribe the Raiders. 20% compared to all city. Marina returns. Or Orion Morino. Or Marino. As a soldier that used to serve in the Enclave until the destruction of Navarro, like many others, he fled south into the NCR, a loyal soldier. He's never given up on the Enclave's dream of restored America when rumors of the Enclave's return approached him or reached him. Orion packed his bags or joined his lost comrades in arms. Welcome home, soldier. Welcome home. Until you leave, because you don't like what we're doing here, but we'll see. Drive out these folks. Fine, fine, fine with us. Thank you very much. After that, a show of force. We could go with the Vault City. Oh, we always do that one first, which I kind of like doing, but... I honestly don't remember. I'm going to go with maybe Military-Industrial military industrial Complex. But I want to do a show of force first, because this one's really hard to do. Getting a much bigger army, especially when you're using power armor, a little difficult. So, a show of force. Vault City must be ours. An overwhelming amount of force should bring the city under our control with minimal damage to its precious facilities and citizens. Enclave defectors slack of the Legion. Although we took power with the promise not to purge our political enemies, like most politicians, we fall in short of our promises. While some purists fled to East to Chicago or Raven Rock, some Enclave loyalists who like Wastelander Americans personally but doubted cause of sold their services to the Legion. The dudes took some suits of power down, or plasma guns, and our last supply of FEV. On the way out, of course. Apparently, Kaiza intends to use them to bring the torch of knowledge to the Wastes in a rather literal fashion. Why? Why do they take FEV? Dr. Henry returns. Dr. Henry is an ex-Enclave medical scientist. He used to work with the cyber, uh, Enclave Cyber Genetic Research Program at the Poseidon Oil Rig and at various other Enclave installations later. He deserted the Enclave due to a conflict with another scientist. 
When he received word of the revival of the Enclave, he was skeptical at first, but once news spread of our efforts to become a worthy American government, he has left his clinic in order to rejoin the Enclave and get one more grand accomplishment done. Welcome back, Doc, and the anti-integrationist or anti-integration faction. The purists will know more, but that does not mean that every member of the reformer faction is unconditional lover of Wastelanders. Many hold the opinion that while they are certainly no purists, the Wastelanders should be kept at a safe arm's length from the pure stock humans of the Enclave. For them, there can be no integration, and only the ruling class of one, or one class, by their genetic betters, many ex purists and reformer moderates, have gone over this new faction in a government. How should we approach this new divide? The elite's party will now be called the anti integration party, a valuable point of view. Two steps forward, one step back. Well, the mutant question, of course. A valuable point of view, I mean. This new faction is allowed to absorb remaining purists and moderates and discuss videos openly, easing tensions. I don't want to lose stability, man. But stability is really easy to get. Refuse to acknowledge this new faction is anything but purists with extra steps. That's fine. I don't care. I know this is very similar to the last one just because it's Nevada and you have to be very similar to it, but it is what it is. Um, would I like it like this? No, but at the same time, I'm I, we're gearing up for the, the, the last, or another run of the purists. Because we like being pure. Can we actually just pair drop onto them? This is very, very risky to do. I'm going to take you, two, three. Because we can do one, two, three. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking here. Three divisions. Uh, no. Oh. Two down in half. Please, just... Bomb the living crap out of them. There you go. Because these guys here. I might consider just... Can we pair drop them so they encircle these groups here? Something like that. There you go. Cool. They're both set up. 1-1. One, one. If it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out. But whatever. Riders Militia. Actually, there's four divisions. Ah, uh, I did say I want to pair drop, but it just makes more sense for us to not pair drop. It just makes more sense to not do it. For now, for now. I will change it. I will make make it a little better next time, but for now, it just makes more sense for us just to do it like this. Because we just need more divisions to hold the line. That's all I want. I want more divisions to hold the line first. My apologies. Meeting question though. Break the tribe. Let's break the tribe. Hard as it may be to believe, these troubles are Americans too, or they will be very, very shortly. Flexibility movement. This one's okay. Uh, I don't like throwing too many support companies on our guys for this. And better reinforcer, it's nice and all, but recovery, it's okay. I'd rather get more breakthrough. Breakthrough is just more important. Oh, crap. I use it again. Ah! My apologies. God dang it. It's too easy to just click enter. We're going to have to really grind a lot of army XP here then. So be it. Break the tribe. Just... Mm. Let's go in. Just kill them off, man. Oh, well, we can't do that now. God dang it. My bad. Military industrial complex. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. There you go. Same thing as we normally do. You know. Maybe stick it out so that we can uh, get some more army XP here. Not too much, though. Ah, my apologies. Why do I keep screwing it up? Because I keep not thinking. There we go. Reroute him. Reduce shifts. 54 more political power. It's not bad. Alright. We want to struggle, right? They actually have quite a few divisions. Look at that. I guess could, we could pair drop in 1, 2, 3, 4, but we don't. Have, we still just have enough on the lines. Oh, well, you'll be fine. Actually, this is okay with us. Grind out more army XP, guys. We definitely need that army XP right now. You know, let them do it again. They might attack us again. That's fine with us. Whatever. We get some more military factories, too. The American Dream, home is Nevada. Although the Enclave's focus has traditionally been on California and restoring the U.S. of A., some argue that we should be focusing on securing Nevada and working with Americans across the wastes. Some sort of League of American States may be more viable than invading everywhere New, New Victoria, from New Victoria to the Pecos Colonies. But unfortunately, I believe I will have to end the episode there. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will begin m much more quickly taking out Nevada. Hopefully. Thanks for watching. And oh, before we go, though, before we go, please remind me, should we go with New World Hopes versus Old World Blues? Please let me know in the comments below.
please let me know in the comments below. Cool. Awesome. Thanks for watching. And have a great rest of your day.